guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Elle here. So today's video is a tutorial on how I do my unstructured spotlight slash halo eye, whichever one you want to call it. Um, I had this makeup on in like two of my videos recently. It was the, I think one of them was like how I do my skin and the other one was how I take and edit my photos for Instagram. Um, so I had an unstructured spotlight eye on then, but just in purple. And obviously I asked if like, if you want me to do a tutorial on this kind of eye look, let me know. And a few people did want a tutorial with an unstructured spotlight eye. So here it is. Just wanted to switch up with the colors instead of doing purple again. So I went with blues. And I'm really loving it, I'm feeling it. Love, love, loving it. That is what today's video is on. It is just an eye tutorial because I feel like there's only, only so many times you can actually watch me do my skin. It gets a bit boring after a while. But yeah, so today's video is all about the unstructured spotlight slash halo eye. But yeah, that is literally it. Never know what to talk about in my intros. I blab on and they end up being way too long. So I'm just gonna shut up because that's all you need to know that it is a tutorial on this eye look. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, I'm gonna get straight on with the tutorial now, but all I wanna say is I hope you enjoyed this video. And also if you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well. And yeah, enjoy. Okay guys, let's start by tackling these brows because yeah, they're not looking great right now, so let's do them. I'm just gonna brush them up with a spoolie first. By the way, just doing on my chin, it probably looks like a different colour to the rest of my face. Um, I have like quite bad spots and they're very red and they look gross. So I've just put concealer on already. Um, so obviously my skin tan, my skin tan, what? My skin tone now probably looks a little bit uneven. So ignore that. So just to fill my brows in, I'm gonna go in with the XX Revolution Brow Definer. So now that I've filled them in, I'm now just going to go in with the MAC Full Slash Maximizer. Um, this is just to make my brows nice and fluffy and hold them in place. I always use this. Like I said, this is just the boring part. And just press those hairs up and onto the skin and lay them nice and flat. So now that we've got the brows looking nice and fluffy, we're just gonna carve them out and go in with our eye base, which of course is the P. Louise base in the shade number two. And I'm gonna use a Peaches and Cream PC52 brush to apply this. I use this all the time. And then I'm just gonna drag this down now onto my lid as the base for the eyeshadow. Now that we've got the base on, it's time to go in with eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow palette I'll be using today is the Beauty Bay and M -M -M Mitchell, me, myself and Mitchell palette, which is stunning. Like, can we just, can we just, I've just took my mirror out. The mirror is like right here, but I've just took it out for now. Um, but yeah, can we just appreciate how beautiful this is? I mean, this has been discontinued, this, oh, this has been discontinued. Um, I actually only just got it recently and I put it on my Instagram story and I had so many messages from people like, oh my God, where did you get that from? But I got it from Beauty Bay. So I know it's like out of stock on Beauty Bay, but I have the Beauty Bay app and like um, it was last week, I think it was like the Wednesday night. I just had this notification come through from th come through from the app saying like, oh, it's the me, myself and Mitchell parts back in stock. I was like, what? Excuse you. So I ordered it straight away because I've been wanting it for ages and it's beautiful. So yeah, that's the eyeshadow palette we're using today. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, which is called Moody Mitch. It's the really deep navy blue. And I'm gonna be using a crown brush. Uh, don't know the number, just a pencil brush. I am doing like an unstructured spotlight eye, halo eye, whichever one you wanna call it. So this is how I would do that. So I would start off on the outer corner first. Obviously we just want to build this colour up so I'm pressing it on, like tapping it on rather than um, swiping and blending it out. And rather going into the crease like that, you can see I've kind of just done it like a pretty much a straight line. I'll just keep building that colour up until I'm happy with it. And start to bring that out as well. 
when I'm doing an unstructured spotlight eye, I prefer it to be a bit, not rounded, but not really sharp, but sort of more winged out. That's what I'm doing. By the way, someone on our estate have, 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 they've got workmen round, so if you can hear that in the background of the video, I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? The important thing with this, by the way, is you don't wanna be putting it too far onto the lid, because this is the one of the darkest colors. We are gonna go in with black as well afterwards, just to deepen it up a little bit more. But this is one of the darkest colors we'll be using, so you don't wanna take it too far onto the lid. Now there's less product on my brush as well, I'm just sort of making sure the edges are a bit more blended for when we do go in with a lighter colour. And then I'm going to do the same thing now on the inner corner. Same colour, same brush, same technique, just patting it on rather than blending. By the way, this is going completely off topic and unmakeup related, but does anyone believe in psychic dreams? anyone ever had them because obviously not everyone believes in them and not everyone believes in that kind of stuff and that's completely fine but um my sister and my nan tend to have psychic dreams quite often well not quite often but they've had like a few throughout their life um and like i've had one or two before but i've not had one in ages and then the other night so it's tuesday today so when was it, it was sunday night so on Sunday night I had this dream that someone broke into our house whilst we were at home. Not a very nice dream. Anyway, so on Monday, I was like in the living room. I want to say it was about maybe 10 a.m. I was in the living room. Daniel had just come to the top of the stairs. He was like, oh, someone's at the house. So I was thinking like the postman's here, like I was about to shove the post through. And then I heard this like noise that I was like, that's not the letterbox. It was like someone, like this guy, someone was trying to put a key in the door and like unlock the door. And Daniel was like, mm, no, he's trying to get in. So we were like, what the hell? Like at first in shock, didn't really know what to do. This guy's like trying to unlock our door with a, with a key. Um, so obviously Daniel came running down the stairs. I grabbed Oscar and held Oscar in the living room thinking what on earth is going on. Um, it turns out it was just like a guy and he was an electrician and he'd been called out to one of the apartment blocks and he thought our house was an apartment block. I mean, it's a pretty small apartment block if it's an apartment because it's a three bed house, <laughs> but you know, um, the apartment blocks are literally right across the road. Like I can, I'm looking at them now, like through the window. So I don't know how we thought our house was one of the apartment blocks, but either way, like how weird is that? I had a dream that someone broke into the house whilst we were in the house. And then the next day, someone was trying to get into our house. Like, it was really, really weird. I was like, that's just the strangest thing. Does anyone else have dreams like that? Has that happened to anyone before? Because it's so creepy when it does happen. So this is how it's looking at the moment. Obviously it looks a little bit strange, a little bit cray cray, but we're gonna blend it out, so don't worry. I'm now gonna go in with this shade right here, right next to the one we have just used. So this one's called Mist. I'm excited to use this color. And I'm gonna take this on as the way, the 231 brush, which is just like a chubby pencil brush. It's obviously bigger than the last pencil brush we used. And I'm just gonna go over the edges of the dark shade that we've just used. And blend this out. I'm also just going to take a clean blending brush. This has got no eyeshadow on it whatsoever. And just make sure the edges are really nice and blended out. So I've got no harsh lines. I'm also going to make sure I'm blending this edge here that's actually on the lid which is why you don't want to take the dark colour too far onto the lid, by the way. And again, do the same with the inner corner. Just blend out those edges. So as you can see, if you were doing like a normal spotlight or halo eye, you would obviously be blending this into the crease and closing this off here. 
and then you'd be doing the light shade right on the center of the lid there. For the unstructured spotlight slash halo eye, you don't wanna do that. So you wanna leave, leave this section here like blank. Just don't bother putting anything there. Don't close this off and join it together. Just leave it like that, almost like a little runway on your eye. Just leave it like that. Trust me, it looks weird, but trust me. I'm just gonna do this on the other eye before I move on. Okay, so I'm back. I've got both eyes at the same point and I wanna darken it up a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Mafia, which is just a matte black. And use the same crown brush, pencil brush that we used for the really dark blue shade. I'm gonna pick up a bit of um, Mafia and, is it Moody Mitch? Yeah, mix those colors together on my brush. And then right where I want it to be the deepest, I'm just gonna pat that on. Obviously just make sure then everything is nice and blended. So once you've gone in with the dark shades again, just make sure you blend everything back out so you don't want any harsh lines. So here's the current progress. I know it's still looking a little bit cray cray, but like when everything's finished, it will look stunning, trust me. Okay, so we're now gonna do the shade that's gonna be the spotlight or the halo or whatever you wanna call it, which is gonna be on the lid. So I'm gonna do two shades. So I'm gonna, go do, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow and a glitter just for that extra bit of sparkle and dimension. So the first shade is Marine, which is from the Mitchell palette. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to use a Zoeva 234, it's just a flat shader brush. And just press this onto the lid, right where we want that spotlight to be. All the way up to the brow. And I'm just gonna take the um, Zoeva pencil brush that we use with the shade Mist, just to sort of go over the edges of that glitter, or eyeshadow, whatever you wanna call it. And now we're gonna go in with glitter. So obviously need a glitter glue first. I'm just using the Too Faced one. We're gonna be using the MAC Reflex Transparent Teal Glitter as well. So just get a bit of glue first. So using the same brush we've just been using, I'm just gonna put some glue, some glitter glue just to, to confirm, um, onto the lid. And then again, same brush, pick up some of that glitter and press that over the top. You don't have to do this, you could have just left it with just the eyeshadow, but I'm just being a little bit extra because why not? I can. We now need to do the under eye, so first things first, I'm just gonna get a wipe to get rid of any fall down. And then as P. Louise always says, what goes up must come down. So we need to put our base on our under eye as well. I am absolutely obsessed with these kinds of eye looks, by the way. I know it's not exactly wearable, but um, I'm obsessed with them. I just use a fluffy brush to apply the base underneath my eye, by the way. This is um, a Spectrum brush that I don't know the number of. Okay, so there are different ways you can do the lower lash line. Obviously, you could just take the darker blue and the lighter blue and just blend them all over the lower lash line. If I'd done a normal spotlight or halo eye, I would do that. But once I've done, when I've done um, an unstructured spotlight eye, I prefer to basically repeat what I've done on top. So I'd still have like that shimmer down below. So I'll show you what I mean. So we'll just take the pencil brush with the darker blue and we're going to blend this on the lower lash line, but we're gonna do the outer and the inner corner, so we're gonna leave a gap. Like that, so you can see there's a gap right there. And we're now gonna go in with the Zoeva brush again, which I've only used the lighter blue with up the lighter blue and then you're also going to want to obviously blend over where you've just put the darker shade on the lower lash line again leaving a gap in the center
So this is what we're currently looking like. As you can see, we've got a gap, which is for the shimmer. So I'm just gonna use the actual eyeshadow from the Mitchell palette. So I'm just gonna use the same brush we used before. So we're just gonna now press this in that gap. You can leave it at that, but I am gonna just put a little bit of that glitter there as well. So again, it needs the glitter glue, not as much this time. So just do the same thing you did on the top. Put the glitter on first. Sorry, not the glitter. Put the glitter glue on first, should I say, Ellen? I can't talk. And then the glitter. I also just like to take the pencil brush we use the lighter blue on again just to sort of blend the edges just like we did on top basically what you did on top do the same thing on the bottom and then for the waterline obviously you could do anything in your waterline you could leave it blank if you want or you could do like a black you could do blue i personally prefer to do white just because i've obviously got the shimmer on the lower lash line as well so i prefer to go in with white if i'd have done like um all dark all the way across then I would go in with like a black and really smoke it out, but if I've done glitter, then go in with a white. I'm feeling like an ice queen or something and I'm really digging it. Of course for lashes, I'm going to be going in with the Tati Lash TL Mitchell lashes because they're super cute cute they're like massive lashes but these kind of lashes look really nice with this kind of look so I'm just gonna put those on so this is what it looks like now that I've got the false lashes on always looks better with false lashes and I absolutely love these lashes so I'm just gonna go and do my skin and then I'll come back and show you the finished look okay guys I am back I've done my skin thrown on a lip I'm actually I, bleh, I can't talk I'm actually loving this lip by the way it's a um, spice lip pencil from MAC with blank canvas from P. Louise the acid rain paint and then I've just chucked on fairy floss like just a tiny bit of fairy floss from Colourpop like the lip gloss and I'm actually loving this lip colour so just so you know the acid rain paints from P. Louise are very versatile because I've just created a really nice pinky nude with it <laughs> but yeah so this is the finished look I absolutely love this kind of eye look like a spotlight eye is one of my favorite eye looks to do especially an unstructured spotlight in like crazy colors for that like Instagram makeup obviously I know it's not wearable completely aware of the fact that it's not wearable and people wouldn't really probably wear it but I mean I would I, I don't care I'd wear it I'd wear it anywhere like really not bothered so yeah but that is how I do my unstructured spotlight eye looks let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video if you like this kind of video if you liked the look if you're going to recreate the look let me know and obviously make sure you tag me in it on instagram as well because i would love to see any recreations and um, also make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well because that would mean so much to me and i do new videos every wednesday and sunday so twice a week at the moment i'd like to do more but time you know so every wednesday and every sunday i have a new video up so let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos you want to see on my channel if you have any requests for certain looks or certain videos let me know so i can get to filming them thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy the video and i hope you'll have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one bye